I have 1.9 million lifetime views, 70,000 watch hours, almost 10,000 subscribers, but how much does YouTube pay me? If you are thinking about whether you should start YouTube or not, how much does YouTube pay, whether it's worth it or not, is the pay enough to leave your full-time job and do YouTube full-time? These are the questions we are going to address today and I'm going to share everything you should be knowing about YouTube Partner Program, how much you can earn as a small creator, how I got here and how much I have earned last month on a monthly basis as well as in the whole time I was monetized. And I'm also going to tell you about one of my biggest mistakes and regrets in this YouTube journey, which I think you should take as a lesson and do not repeat. And while you're here, I want you to hit the subscribe button because you will not want to miss my other videos coming up. Now, you know my stats. I have a question for you. I give you five seconds to guess when did I start my YouTube channel. Put it in the comment section below, I'm waiting. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, time's up. If you go into my channel and go in the about section, you will see that my channel was created in 2010. I use my Gmail account to create YouTube account. That's why my channel is that old and I never changed the email address. One of my oldest videos was in 2013, I think when I just got familiar with YouTube and I have deleted that video. It's not there anymore. It was just, I think, an airport looks or something. So I was experimenting with some fashion videos. After that, I started posting travel content in 2016. Again, I was not consistent. But between 2013 and 2016, I had stopped doing YouTube and that is one of my biggest regrets and biggest mistakes in my journey i should not have done that if i had continued doing youtube since 2013 when i started off i would have like reached somewhere today where i'm aiming to be in the next five years uh, it was much easier to grow in youtube that time because it was very new not many people were doing it people didn't know about it uh, so it was very easy to get views and attraction, attention, subscribers. A lot of people who are famous right now are the ones who started at that time. It's been almost a decade since I created my first video. <laughs> but when I started posting in 2016, I could not keep up and be consistent. That is my second mistake uh, that I made. If I had been consistent at that time, I would have been able to get a lot more views because one of my videos that I posted at that time it was really bad, really shitty, just random pictures put together and made into a video. It has gained about 25,000 views and it has been one of my top performing videos until I think last year or something. So I'm doing it right now more consistently. But if I had been this consistent back then, it would have been a different story. Monetization. Getting monetized on YouTube is a little difficult. To enter the YouTube Partner Program and to get monetized, there's an eligibility criteria. You need to have either 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last 365 days with long form video or 1,000 subscribers and 10 million YouTube Shorts views in the last 90 days. Once you reach this threshold, you get an email from YouTube that you have been invited to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. When you receive the invite from YouTube, you just need to go into your YouTube studio, go in the monetization tab, click on apply and accept all the terms and conditions and everything and your channel goes in for a review. It takes only one or two days, but uh, you get an email back that you have been accepted. Then you need to create your Google AdSense account, link the account to your YouTube and you get paid every month after that if you reach the $100 payment threshold. You can be kicked out of the program if you don't maintain the 4,000 watch hours or the 10 million shots views of the certain time period. If you haven't uploaded any video for six months or more than that, uh, YouTube might turn off your monetization as well. And also if you go against any community guidelines, uh, if there are any copyright infringement notices on your channel, you can get demonetized as well. So there are a lot of different things that can get you demonetized. So monetization is not permanent. You have to maintain that level. You can get the 1000 subscribers very quickly, very, very quickly, but getting that 4000 watch hours, that is the hardest part. Um, I started consistently posting videos in 2020, I think, and I reached that 4000 watch hours in 2022. In 2022, I tried to uh, diversify my content and I uploaded a video about living in Australia and that gained a lot of views and a lot of uh, attention. I think that is when I realized that people want to watch this as well. And after that, I made a video called The Reality of Australia's 
permanent residency process. Watch this before you move. I think that was the video that changed it for me. That blew up like crazy and there were so many people watching it. So that increased my watch hour to quite a bit. 23rd June 2022. That is when I got monetized and I think I was so so happy I went out for a dinner and celebrated it because that seemed like achieving such a big milestone. Um, that time I think I had about 2000 or something subscribers so I had crossed that 1000 subscribers threshold very very early. In that first month of being monetized, these five videos were my top performing and top earning content. The reality of Australian permanent residency in that first month of being monetized earned me $7.33. There was another video which is called The Best Dater from Keynes. It was about Fitzroy Island in Australia, which earned me $8.61. Another video about Keynes, um, it was a travel guide and itinerary, which earned me $11.75. Pros and cons of living in Australia, in Sydney, was earning me $12.86. And another very weird video, which is not related to any of my topic, uh, was a non-sponsored Bondi Boost brush review, hairbrush, it's a hair tool review, I don't know why I made it. That was my top earner in the first month, bringing in $15.24. Yay! In the first month of being monetized, I earned a total of... $98.55. I know it's not a lot and I was not even expecting to earn this much because I had zero expectations from YouTube's partner program. I was like, I'm just such a small creator. I have ba barely any views, any people looking at my content. Um, I would maybe earn $10, $15. It did not reach the payment threshold. Fast forward to October 2023. Last month, I gained 117k views and 2.7k watch hours. This includes a combined uh, measure of shots as well as long form videos. Currently, I have 9,677 subscribers, almost 10,000. That depends on you if you hit the subscribe button or not and help me reach 10,000 subscribers. Um, and in the last month, I earned $232.89. This is Canadian dollars. If you see this graph here, you can see that I posted almost one video every single day. Um, this is a combination of shorts as well as YouTube long form videos. As I mentioned before, one long form video every week and shorts every day. Shorts has helped me gain a lot of subscribers. And if we go into sh just shorts analytics, I have received 84,000 views in the last month, 1.5k likes, and I have gained 131 subscribers just out of shorts. Whereas from videos, I have gained 33.1k views and it doesn't tell me how many subscribers I got. But coming back to revenue, out of the long form videos uh, and out of the total, I earned $227.58 and from the shorts videos, I earned $5.30. <laughs> Do you see the drastic difference? And if you see here, like I have been consistently earning almost about 10 $8, $10 the whole month. I think my top earning day was 27th October when I earned $11 out of one video. And this is how it goes. I think this is my average uh, income per day uh, right now. I hope it grows one day. And also in the last month, these are my five top earning content. Uh, the best day trip from Keynes, which is a travel video, which earned me $10.68. Uh, first time is guide to Montreal, which is another travel video, which earned me $11.15. Pros and cons of living in Sydney, which was the first video which gained a lot of attention for me. Last year, it is earning me $11.44. The reality of Australian permanent residency, that video is still earning me $16.03. And my top earning video is the best of Istanbul in three days. It is a Turkey travel vlog, which is earning me $28.51. And if you talk about shots, I'm not going into top five. My top performing video is how to connect an external mic to your MacBook laptop and it has earned me 50 cents in the last 28 days. I find shorts is a great way to reach a bigger audience and get those subscribers in and then you post long form content to keep those subscribers hooked to your channel. But to understand how YouTube monetization and payment works, uh, you need to understand two things, CPM and RPM. CPM is nothing but how much advertisers pay for 1000 views and RPM is how much you earn out of 
that money uh, for every 1000 views. Um, currently my RPM is 7 point uh, something dollars. This is over the last 28 days and my top performing video is Reality of Australian Permanent Residency. So I'm going to show you how RPM changes with every video and how different factors affect RPM. So this is my top video with 239.2k views, um, 16,000 watch hours. In total, it has earned me $779 over its lifetime since ever I got monetized. The CPM of this video is $8.72, but I get paid $3.26 for every 1000 views. I'll show you one more video. This is a very new video. It has just been a month since I published it. Uh, it has 1.4k views and it has already earned me $13.89. And the CPM on this video is $25.85. This is how much advertisers pay for this video. And the RPM for this video that I get is $9.83. That is a big difference, right? And do you know why that happens? All of this depends on where you are creating the video from, who is watching your video, what language the video is creating it. But the audience in this particular video is mainly from United States, then Canada, then India, Australia, United Kingdom. It was uploaded in English and it was uploaded from Canada. So when the audience is from United States or Canada and or Australia or these countries, where peep advertisers spend a lot of money on ads, you have a higher CPM and higher RPM. However, this previous video with 200k views, the audience is from mainly India, then Australia, then Philippines, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Um, it is. It was also created in English. Uh, it was uploaded in Australia, but because the audience is from India, people who are watching are from India, the advertisers in India don't pay that much money towards ads. That is why the CPM is low and the RPM is ultimately low. So even though I may have high engagement and lots of views on a video, that does not mean it will earn me the most money uh, because of the region it is being played in. Right now, my top performing video is the best of Istanbul in three days. Uh, this is a Turkey travel vlog. It has earned me in the last 28 days $28. Its CPM is $18.52, that is how much advertisers are paying and I am getting $6.86 out of that. The audience that are watching this are from India, United States, United Kingdom. So as soon as uh, United States come in the mix of top geographies, the CPM automatically grows and also the RPM will grow uh, as well. So now, the big picture how much am i making monthly from youtube and i want to show you how much i earned in the last one year of being monetized the total amount that i earned was three thousand three hundred and seventy two dollars and twenty eight cents this is canadian dollars not us dollars in um in the last one year on a monthly basis i am earning between 250 to 300 canadian dollars every month from youtube my highest earning month was March last year. My lowest earning month was February this year. These are my analytics. I don't gatekeep. This is everything in there. If you have any questions, just put it in the comment section below. And if you thought this video was useful, give me a like and give me a subscribe so I can reach 10,000 subscribers. I've been monetized for almost over a year and I think I've been consistently earning from YouTube and it's a I know it might not be a lot of money and even if it is if you think this is a lot I'm not bragging this is something that uh, that is an encouragement for me to make more videos and keep creating good content for you all so that I can keep getting this as a reward and uh, and getting something is always better than nothing now the question is is it worth it is it worth doing YouTube absolutely yes YouTube is one of the best platforms to create content on or create content for because ultimately once you get monetized, you start earning money. I know this is not a lot, but this is still something. If I save up like uh, two, three months of this revenue, I can put it towards one of my trips. Maybe half of it can be covered. It's something. Something is always better than nothing. And if you want to start YouTube, if you are thinking whether it, you should take your time and do it or not, I would definitely say try it because at the end, when you start earning money, it becomes everything becomes worth it. I know people, a lot of people say that you should not be doing YouTube for money, but at the end, um, some kind of reward is always motivating. Um, you might not want to do it for money, but the fact that 
you get something out of it out of all the efforts that you're making uh, is kind of encouraging and i won't lie this money coming into my account every month it's it's not bad and this is kind of a passive income that i made for myself because i make one video and leave it and it keeps earning money for me and it will keep earning money for me over the years because this is lifetime content this is evergreen content if you can say um instagram tiktok the content goes viral and it just stays somewhere hidden in the archives and no one sees it again but on youtube this is searchable content this is stuff that will show up uh, even after like 5 years if you search for it and it will always keep earning money for you so if you ask me i definitely think youtube is worth it all of this efforts are worth it and i would definitely encourage you to start your youtube channel because although it took me quite a while to get monetized and start earning it even this much um it it feels good and i just wish you all the best and i hope i get to see your youtube videos and your your youtube channels as well if you have anything that you want to show me put it in the comment section i'm happy to see everyone's videos and also uh, if you thought this video was useful thoughtful informative give me a sub and a like i would really appreciate it helps me keep get, getting better and if, i would also appreciate any kind of con uh, feedback you have for my content and i will work on it and i'll see you next week with another video bye